This is a quick preview of an update of EMC's vCenter plugins shown at VMworld 2010. The first thing that's important is EMC is unifying its vCenter plugins, unifying both VMFS provisioning and NFS provisioning, and bringing together a broad set of plugin capabilities into a simpler framework. Here you can see the process of provisioning a VMFS data store. As simple as clicking on this button, providing some basic details about the storage subsystem. Uh, here, the uh, VMware administrator has total self-service, but only within the pools, as we'll see subsequently, that uh, the storage team assigns as available for them. As a preview, certain things within the UI will change. For example, you'll be able to identify storage pools, which is a more uh, modern provisioning model than simply RAID groups. But basic principles, as uh, provisioning uh, advanced features, for example, uh, a fully automated storage tiering, compression, uh, the ability to provide uh, fast cache behind storage objects, all can be done at the same time as core provisioning actions. Now, just like our previous vCenter plugins, this self-service provisioning not only provisions it for one uh, ESX host, but provisions it across the entire ESX cluster in a single, simple, and easy step. With uh, Unisphere, EMC unified our uh, storage provisioning for both Block and NAS, uh, as well as every element of management, so we need to do the same thing here within uh, vCenter. Uh, the update of our vCenter plugins fully integrates all uh, management into a single plugin model, and here, if we want to provision NFS-based data stores, once again, it's as simple as saying, I'd like to provision the NFS data store, providing uh, 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 core storage information around what you want to call the data store and then what uh, storage array would you like it to be on. And um, uh, EMC st uh, NAS storage has got a scale-out model, so you could have multiple uh, uh, data movers that can support um, uh, the NFS storage for a single vSphere cluster. And once again, you simply identify which storage pools you'd like to provision out of. Uh, NFS data stores can be uh, grown on the fly, and you can see here that uh, advanced uh, models, once again, compression and uh, all of the advanced ESX values are set automatically, and you can uh, further customize if you'd like. And just like in the VMFS example, not only will it provision it on the back-end storage, enabling simple self-service for the VMware administrator, it's going to simplify the entire process because it's going to do it across every single host inside the cluster in a single, simple step. Now, not only um, are we providing uh, more integrated provisioning models across both Block and, and NAS, but also advanced storage capabilities. So, for example, our ability on uh, block VMFS data stores is to compress the entire data store, but on NFS-based data stores we can compress an individual VM, which is what we're going to show right here. So, uh, once again, this has been available for some time already as a vCenter plugin, but we've now integrated this into a more modern plugin framework uh, that unifies this across EMC's product families. So, uh, what we're doing here is we're triggering uh, the compression uh, of a virtual machine, um, and if we come back and we take a look, um, we can see uh, later what uh, results we're going to get. The other thing that we're exposing is the ability to uh, uh, create very rapid VM level clones. Again, we've been able to do this uh, for some time as a shipping capability in a vCenter plugin, but this has been further integrated into this common uh, vCenter plugin framework. What we've done is we've identified an individual VM. We're going to identify how many we copies we'd like to make. Notice that the maximum is very, very large. It's actually not a limit of the array. We can create a huge number of VM-level snapshots, um, but uh, it's a limit of the number of cores that you have in the cluster. Um, and then notice that it's also integrated with VMware View, and we'll be adding additional desktop brokers relatively shortly. Um, you can see that uh, these will populate into a view pool, and all of the view pool properties are uh, set up at a one-time operation here within the vCenter plugin. Again, simple and easy, something that we've delivered before, but uh, uh, we've now integrated into a single integrated vCenter plugin model. With VAAI, we can do hardware accelerated snapshots on block that exists underneath uh, uh, vSphere itself. Uh, there is no VAAI today for NFS, but you can see here that via this vCenter plugin, we can achieve a similar effect. Snapshots. We integrated it with VMware View, and we will be extending this to other um, uh, uh, virtualized desktop uh, management and broker interfaces. Um, it's added those virtual machines to the pool. The other thing that we've uh, had for some time, but again, has been integrated into a single plug-in model, 
is the ability to uh, take a look at properties for a single uh, VM. If we take a look, we can see that this, uh, for example, is uh, 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 an individual VM and has a series of hardware-based uh, snapshots off of that baseline copy. Um, and if we take a look at um, the individual VM, we can see that, for example, the compression task that we started earlier is finished. So let's take a look at the properties for this particular VM. And here what we're seeing are the advanced properties that are uh, available due to these storage uh, capabilities. So, for example, here, compression on top of thin presented an additional 37% space savings. One other thing that we've got within our unified uh, plug-in model is the ability to do a refresh. So obviously, since we didn't use view composer type models to create this initial fan out of the VMs, but we used a uh, NFS-based hardware accelerated deployment model, um, we, can, uh, uh, we need to be able to do similar models such as, for example, producing a, a refresh. What it's going to do here is it's going to automate a very analogous process to what a VMware uh, view refresh would do. Uh, which is to power off the VMs, uh, delete them, and recreate them off of the original uh, base parent um, using, again, the uh, individual VM-level snapshotting capabilities of the EMC Unified Storage Platform. One thing that's very cool about these array-based, hardware-accelerated VM snapshots is that they consume no space since they're completely pointer-based and we can take a very, very large number of them. Now, uh, the other common feature request that we got from customers was to simplify path management both for customers who are using VMware NMP and are not using PowerPath VE, as well as customers who are using PowerPath When using PowerPath VE, which is a vStorage API for multipathing plugin, all path management is set up, but not every customer uses PowerPath VE. And the feature request was to do exactly what we're showing you here in this preview, which is to go in and be able to say, I would like to configure the multipathing policy to properly configure uh, across my entire cluster multipathing for my VMFS devices, um, uh, using VMware's NMP plugin, simplifying the process uh, of something that was formerly manual. Uh, so here you can see it's very, very simple. You identify uh, either all the EMC de based devices or all devices and can simply change the policy in one simple step. Since 2009, EMC has been delivering vCenter plugins that make managing storage inside VMware environments simpler and easier. And throughout all 2010, VSI version 3 enabled simple and easy self-service provisioning for our VMware administrators. What this preview has shown is what we're doing to further simplify and further unify the EMC plugin models to make it even simpler and even easier for our joint VMware and EMC customers.